Welcome to Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. And today's stuff is recording a disc using a Tascam CDR W900 professional CD player and recorder. Um, just wanted to show you this really quick demo on how to do this. So I've got it, uh, or I've got this unit connected to my CD player right now using the input in the back. There are three different inputs. Here you've got an analog, digital, and a coax. So I've got it uh, going to my analog and um, I'll be recording a disc from my source, which is another CD player. So we're going from this to this really quick. Anyway, um, I'll go ahead and power this up and uh, show you what to do. Here we're using a normal blank CDR disc. Um, the difference between a regular music disc and this disc is that you'll probably be end up using these kind of discs on a normal Tascam unit. But if you use a music disc, it's a little bit more universal where you could use it on pretty much any player. So please remember the differences between just a CDR and a music CDR where you can take it to different players um, and play it back. So anyway, let's go ahead and turn this on, put my disc in, and it'll go ahead and try to read the table of content when there isn't not any on this disc, so it'll eventually just go and show you that it's a, a blank disc. Okay, so there you go. And then what we want to do is obviously, again, I've got it connected to my CD player. so. You've got these uh, input gain controls, so we'll play with that in a little bit. And um, you'll end up hitting the record button when you're ready. And what that'll do is it'll go into OPC, and that means uh, optimum power control. Anyway, right now it's on my source, on my CD source. It's not yet recording, okay? So here, you'll notice that you can increase and decrease the gain. So we want to put that probably in the middle, depending on how you like uh, your recordings to be. You can change the gain again uh, if you want a little bit more volume out of your uh, playback. But you don't want to go too far, too much, because it'll start to distort. So anyway, just put it into like probably around there would be a pretty optimum and safe in the middle and then all you'll need to do is hit the play button and it'll start recording so let me go ahead and change my track to number three and I'll pause this hold on for a second I'll pause that for a sec so when we're ready to go I'll push my play button on my uh, CD player and I'll do that right now and hit play at the same time here and it'll start to record Okay, there you go. There's a countdown here showing that it's starting to record. We'll record for about a minute or so um, and uh, we'll go ahead and finalize it and then play it back so to show you that it did do the recording. So we'll do about uh, 60 seconds worth of recording and then we'll go ahead and, um, and stop it. Okay, so we're at the one minute mark. We can go ahead and probably just stop this just to show you how, um, how that process is going. So I'll stop it. It'll go into PMA writing, and that means program memory area. And then we'll hit the finalize button. And then you'll hit the jog or multi jog just to say yes. And are you sure? You gotta hit it again. Remember, that uh, you still have a lot of room uh, in this 
this when it's um, when it's new. So you can add more. But again, we stopped it in um, just within one minute. So once you once you finalize, you can't record on the disc anymore. So it's asking you again, are you sure? And I said yes. And it'll do a countdown. Uh, TOC means table of content. So it's uh, creating that table of content for you. And then it'll count down um, from there until it's complete and finalized. Then we can actually uh, start playing the disc again on another Tascam player or disc player. So let's go ahead and wait for that for a sec. And, um, and we'll see what happens. All right, it's doing its thing. You can kind of hear it. There you go. And it's complete. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And I'll show you the disc. And you'll see a small ring here. It's kind of, it'll be hard to tell. You'll have to look at it. And that, me that means that it's uh, been recorded and it's been finalized now. So we'll go ahead and and we'll go ahead and play this thing. Now it's reading the disc. All right. We didn't have any kind of text on it. So there you go. There's that one minute and nine seconds that we recorded. And now we can play it. Okay, anyway, hope that helps. Uh, if you like these kind of videos, please uh, subscribe to my channel. That's Beyond Soup, where I put up all sorts of stuff. Thanks.